I know. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, but I'm back and I'm, I'm I'm going to show you. As you can see, the girl's in a protective hairstyle, so the kinks are protected. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, these beautiful, beautiful mini braids in purple, because you know purple is my spirit color, and tune in <laughs> to the next video. Um, if you're new, um, my name is Nazareth Shenge and this is a natural hair channel. Right now, as you can see, I'm looking crazy, you know, everything is all over the place. But I'm braiding my hair, I'm doing a mini braid. As you can see, it's very, very tiny. Not that tiny though, it's like medium sized, but it's taking a while. But when you do this hairstyle, things that you need to take note of, you need to wash your hair. Because you're going to have this in for like a while. You can wash your hair with braids on, but like I usually don't because I'm kind of lazy. But you can wash your hair with braids on. You have to wash your hair, prep it, moisturize it, make sure there's enough moisture. And then you're going to need to part it. As you can see, I parted my hair. I started with the back. That's the part that I parted separately. And then I made a line in between and then I parted these sections different these different sections and then right now I'm doing the rubber band method um you're gonna need rubber band like a bag of rubber bands and usually what I do um I put them in a little container and then I put oil on them so that they don't tug on my hair you're gonna need a rat tail comb the one with the metal thingy so you can part and you know make a really really precise line and when you touch or um, hold make sure not to touch your edges because you want them there you know as you on this side um <laughs> on this side um i've already parted using the rubber band method um parted a couple of them a couple of the sections as you can see and then obviously you put it depending on how tight you want the braid to be i'm kind of mixing at the back it was just black and then right now i have okay before i bought um a pack of darling i'll put a link of what it looks like in the description box or shops that you can get it from in the description box but after because it's not uh, stretched it's not pre-stretched so you have to stretch it yourself uh, you take the hair piece out of the pack and then at the ends because it's usually cut bluntly you pull them out so it stretches out the hair piece on both sides so it, when you plait it it's not a, it's not um bluntly cut at the bottom so it's easier to braid so you make sure you do that to the hair piece and then obviously you take the part of how much you want for example this much right and then you take a part of us of how much you need obviously maybe this much right so this is the part of how much i've taken out and then i separate it into a really big piece and a really small piece and the small piece becomes almost like the same size as the other pieces so it's they, they all seem equal right so i there's a smaller piece and a big piece but each of these obviously are the same size of this put together and then you put these together like this in a knot type of way I don't know what's this called but this <laughs> and then you hold it like that obviously using the rubber band method but here I'm just demonstrating so I've already done that here because I'm mixing it with purple hair piece I've already done that here so I put the purple with the black and then you see already a part it makes it easier for you to grip it so you hold that put it there where the knot or the where the hair pieces join and then hold it like that and then obviously twist it and then take the other side I don't know if, I'm, if it's clear take the other side because it's different colors we see you'll take the black side obviously put it over braid usually what i do is pull on my hair to make sure it's tight because i don't want it to be loose and then obviously use the rubber band as an anchor and make sure that when you braid you hold your hair especially because i didn't 
blow dry my hair stretch it out so it's in its natural state blow it stretch it out and then make sure that the hair piece covers your hair so that it's not like protruding through the braid and then obviously after mounting that you start braiding slowly you know the basic three braid down i don't know if it's clear down as you can see the different colors <laughs> you braid down and basically finish the rest of the braid and that's it <laughs> it's that simple so you can do this with different sizes if you want big ones but right now i want mini micro braids really small ones they kind of look cute i like that style and it's in now i haven't learned how to do not less braids so yeah part your hair wash it moisturize yeah, as you can see i've braided the rest of it make sure it's straight and you know it's not twisting and pull it down as you braid down so that it stretches itself and it's not like trying to go in different directions so this is what it looks like with the mixed in purple color it's kind of cute um and then you you'll do that you add with the rest of your head i guess you part using the comb using the comb part part right as you can see i'm gonna you part lines that are horizontal obviously yeah horizontal <laughs> they're all kind of horizontal depending on where you're looking at it but yeah so horizontal at the back so they go like this right and depending on how small you want your parts to be mine are really small they're not that small they're not like tiny tiny because i want to finish so <laughs> they're like normal size i guess this is the size of one part so it will depend on how you want to do it but this is how i like to do it so see you when i'm done with the hair stuff i'm gonna take a couple of hours um this would be is gonna take patience this is gonna take a lot of patience as you can see it's a very skinny braid and so far i've used two packs um, I will tell you at the end of the video how many how many you will need when you want to do this hairstyle but it depends on the size of your head how much hair you have um, yeah <laughs> that's basically it thank you for tuning in to my video see you